Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for Tuesday the 10th of September. I'm Reverend Nicole from the Parish of Cessnock. It's a privilege to pray with you this morning. If you're following along in your prayer book, our service begins on page 396. The psalm set for today is Psalm 25, which begins on page 244. And our reading from the New Testament is a reading from 1 John. As we begin our morning prayer, we acknowledge the ongoing custodianship of the First Nations people who first walked the land on which our diocese meets and ministers, worships and encounters God. We pay our respects to the Awabikul, Burupai, Darkingyan, Garigal, Giwagal, Kamilaroi, Waramai and Wanarua peoples, to their elders past, present and emerging. And we commit ourselves to listening deeply in the ongoing work of reconciliation and healing. This morning's morning prayer is recorded on Wanarua country. Let us pray. We will proclaim the name of the Lord, ascribe greatness to our God. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. The opening canticle is a song of God's mercy. I invite you to say that with me. God, who is rich in mercy, out of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead through our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ and raised us up with him and made us sit with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace and kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 25 In you, O Lord my God, have I put my hope. In you have I trusted. Let me not be ashamed, nor let my enemies triumph over me. Let none who wait for you be put to shame. But let those that break faith be confounded and gain nothing. Show me your ways, O Lord, and teach me your paths. Lead me in the ways of your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. In you have I hoped all the day long because of your goodness, O Lord. Call to mind your compassion and your loving kindness for they are from of old. Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions. But according to your mercy, think on me. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore will he direct sinners in the way. The meek he will guide in the path of justice. And teach the humble his ways. All the paths of the Lord are faithful and true for those who keep his covenant and his commandments. For your name's sake, O Lord, be merciful to my sin, though it is great. Who are they that fear the Lord? Them will the Lord direct in the way that they should choose. Their souls shall dwell at ease and their children shall inherit the land. Confidences of God belong to those that fear him, and his covenant shall give them understanding. My eyes are ever looking to the Lord, for he will bring my feet out of the net. Turn your face toward me and be gracious, for I am alone and in misery. I free my heart from pain and bring me out of my distress. Give heed to my affliction and adversity and forgive me all my sins. Consider my enemies, how many they are, and they bear a violent hate against me. So keep my life and deliver me. Put me not to shame, for I come to you for refuge. Let innocence and integrity be my guard. 
for in you have I hoped. O God, deliver Israel out of all their tribulation. Lord, our God, our creator, redeemer and sanctifier, we ask you to cleanse us from all hypocrisy, to unite us to our fellow men and women by the bonds of peace and love, and to confirm us in holiness, now and forever. Amen. Our reading from the New Testament is a reading from the letter of 1 John, chapter 4, beginning at the 13th verse. By this we know that we abide in him and he in us, because he has given us of his spirit. And we have seen and do testify that the Father has sent his Son as the Saviour of the world. God abides in those who confess that Jesus is the Son of God, and they abide in God. So we have known and believed that so we have known and believed the love that God has for us. God is love, and those who abide in love abide in God, and that God abides in them. Love has been perfected among us in this, that we may have boldness on the day of judgment. Because as he is, so we are in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. For fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not reached perfection in love. We love because he first loved us. Those who say, I love God, and hate their brothers or sisters are liars, or those who don't do not love a brother or sister whom they have seen, cannot love God whom they have not seen. The commandment we have from him is this, those who love God must love their brothers and sisters also. Let us take a moment to reflect on our readings. May your words live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. I invite you to say with me the canticle, a song of the blessed. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for what is right, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for mercy shall be shown to them. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Your collect prayer for this week. O oh God, you know us to be set in the midst of so many and so great dangers, that by reason of the frailty of our nature, we cannot always stand upright. Grant to us such strength and protection as may support us in all dangers and carry us through all temptations. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Gracious God, we give you thanks for this new day and for the sights and sounds of love and life. We give you thanks for the sun that shines, for the renewal of rain, the birds that sing, and for the people that we live in community with. We pray for your world and for your church. We pray for all leaders of nations, 
and for all who have authority to make decisions on behalf of other people. We pray they might be inspired by you and that all decisions made will be for the common good, that build respect for the humanity of all people. We pray for your church. We pray for the church where it is persecuted and ignored, the church where it has been forgotten. And we give you thanks for the places where the church is celebrated. We pray that you might turn people's hearts to you, that all people may believe. We give you thanks that you call us to be your people. We give you thanks for the many blessings that you bestow upon us. And we pray that as you bless us, we might be a blessing to others and that by our lives, people might see your gospel. We pray for people that we know who are sick. We pray too for people who are unknown to us, known only to you. We hold them in our hearts. We pray for people who live on the fringes of communities, for those who are homeless, for the hungry, for the marginalised and the persecuted. We pray for the ministries of our diocese. We pray for our bishops, Bishop Peter, Bishop Sonia and Bishop Charlie. We give you thanks for their leadership and their ministry among us. We pray for all who support them, their families and others. We pray for the work of the diocesan office and for the staff. We pray for Anglican care, Samaritans, at the Anglican schools, for our parishes, and the communities that we all serve. We pray for volunteers and staff, for teachers and students, for parishioners and clergy. We pray too for those who we support in mission. We hold before you the day before us and the people we will spend our time with those who we will think about or pray for, those who we, we will work with. We pray that all we do and say may be for the building up of your kingdom and for the blessing of others. We bring these and our own prayers to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord and Heavenly Father, you have brought us safely to this new day. Keep us by your mighty power, protect us from sin, guard us from every kind of danger. And in all we do this day, direct us in the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord lift up his countenance upon us and give us peace. Amen. Have a beautiful day, everyone. God bless.